for someone I'm speaking over you, you have cried, you will not cry again. Release your faith and pray and cry. Turn my life around, oh God. Turn my life around, oh God. Turn my life around, oh God. Let it be clear that your word works. Let it be clear that faith works. Let it be clear that sacrifice works. You have cried, you will not cry again. And the reason why you will not cry again is because the Bible says weeping endures, not forever, but for a night. It says joy comes with the morning. And I've taught you here that morning is not just a chronological passage of time. I have taught you that the morning happens when your light comes. He called the light day and the darkness he called night. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, weeping comes to an end. Shame comes to an end. Reproach comes to an end. Struggles come to an end. In the name of Jesus. For that person, it is impossible to have a better yesterday. And if that person is you, then let me prophesy to you that in the name of Jesus, all through 2024, it will be ever increasing glory ever increasing glory fearful results after fearful results in the name of jesus christ now i want you to begin to receive we'll just this of last year will never be repeated this year let me say it again to the believer the tears secret or open the tears of last year the shame of last year the reproach of last year has no place in your 2024 in the name of Jesus Christ if the mouth of the Lord has spoken it then his hand will make it good you will see wonders this year it will be clear from your life that it pays to serve Jesus in the name of Jesus you are a good God and we honor you. You are a good God. We celebrate you. We worship you. You have done all things well. Do not be silent. you have been a good God mention the names of your loved ones and say thank you for their lives go ahead and pray you have been a good God I'm saying this because I know that the body of Christ is going through a mix of so many things I'm seeing many children come come and line them here don't worry we'll pray for them the devil is a liar in the name of Jesus I will ask my friend and brother to blow over them like that wind it was the east wind that blew and brought all kinds of insects and pests to egypt and when god was taking away the the the, the plague it was still the wind we're using this our children as a point of contact if you're coming with a child just come with them after one minute you can stay with your child wherever and believe by faith we're just using them as a point of contact may it never be that a generation arises that hates jesus may it never be listen you don't know the kind of attack that is on the generation of these children you would think they are small the ones that we call presidents today once upon a time the devil grew with them are we together we look like young people but whether you like it or not you are getting old every day i know that you are fresh you are happy in the lord yes i agree but whether you like it or not every day you celebrate your birthday you are not just celebrating the years you have spent you are celebrating what is left hallelujah and there was another generation that knew not pharaoh let, let me distract what i'm saying that finance thing i'm going to pray for you on it i must pray for you on it if you don't believe it transfer your amen to someone else but let me tell you the truth ladies and gentlemen reject poverty let me repeat it for your hearing reject poverty reject it. 
reject it in the name of jesus reject it reject it there is no honor in it it brings reproach to the name of the lord it brings reproach to the saints it pushes believers to the corridors of compromise but for now let's take a minute i'm standing in faith and we are going to pray and cry for these children whether it's your biological child that is here or not in the next one minute invest prayer over the next generation father they will not be lost this cancer of infant mortality mental health issues pray all the infirmities you know that plague children father let your hand rest upon our children may they serve the god of their parents may they serve the god of their parents pray for them lord walk on their minds the things they learn in school the things they learn watching television the things they learn on the internet purify their minds oh god purify their minds oh god pray that no parent will bury any of these children here that no parent will bury any of these children here hallelujah i pray for you by this impartation let an ordinary life come to an end let an average life come to an end let a life that excels a life that reveals jesus in a more superior dimension let it rest upon you now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm praying for you whatever is needed for life and godliness i know you have loved the lord some of you love the lord in lack you love the Lord in pain. But whatever provision must be in place for you to enjoy God this year, may my God gravitate it towards you. If giving you your own house will give you the peace to serve God this year, may the rewarder reward you with it. If giving you a greater job will be what will help you serve God well. May my God make it happen for you this year. If entering your marital destiny or having your children, are we together, or blessing your spouse, anything around your family life is what will make you serve God well. May my God make it happen this year. money is what will help you serve God well that this this trauma of lack and telling lies and stealing and living a false life because of the absence of economic means if having resources will help you work in integrity to stop lying and manipulating people in the name of Jesus may my God make it happen for you Please be seated. Hold the hands of someone. Make declarations of faith in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and declare, be it unto us, everything you have said, be it unto us that this year, the profit that comes from loving you, from serving you, will be evidence to all and sundry. We believe. Surprises by the Spirit. Change of levels by the Spirit. Mighty manifestations. Greater anointings by the Spirit unctions by the spirit signs and wonders by the spirit 
extraordinary wealth and abundance by the Spirit. Settlements of all kinds by the Spirit. Testimonies by the Spirit. This we believe. This we receive. The children in this ministry and the ones outside of this place we are praying for them. 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 Decree and declare. Mental health of any and all sorts. Plaguing children. Plaguing their destinies. We bring every child under the blood. We bring every child under the blood. You're watching from America, from the United Kingdom, from Australia. You're watching from across the globe. In the name of Jesus, we are releasing healing to the nations. Right from here, Lagos, Nigeria. We are releasing healing to our children. They shall not die. They are taught of the Lord. Their minds are revived. Their minds are revived. Their minds are revived. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We're almost done. Do you believe in financial prosperity? Huh? Believe, oh. If you don't believe God prospers people, let me tell you, the kind of lack and wants that will descend on your life, it will push you to the corridors of compromise. There is only one reason Israel goes to Egypt, hunger. Genesis 42 from verse 1 and 2. Jacob said, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. He said, why sit you here and look at one another? Go Tita. Verse 2. Verse 2. Get thee down and buy for us so that we will live and not die. That's how they became slaves in Egypt. This is the origin of their journey to slavery hunger every time there is hunger israel will always go to egypt in search for bread and people will begin to compromise can i tell you god is not against your prospering and there is a real anointing that prospers men what god is against is your heart being lifted up that what he gives you now replaces him where else will god prosper if not the church now when it has to do with the subject of god blessing and helping people there is a whole dynamics there is a place for value developing your gifts there is a place for understanding the laws of wealth i agree there are many professionals here people in the financial industry we do not downplay that but we are saying that in addition to all things there is an advantage that the believer has in christ the Bible tells us, bless the Lord, Psalm 102. Oh, my soul, and forget not his benefits. We do not serve him because of benefits. We serve him because we love him. But he is kind and benevolent. Are we together? Because the character of fatherhood, according to scripture, is the ease with which you give. Not just the presence of children. In the mind of scripture, the proof that you are father is that you are giving if you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more are you learning now this we believe Krakata pakata pos, krampata paros koto prenda kata pelekata. Pray in one minute. Increases of every kind, in the name of Jesus, spiritual growth. Increase, breaking lips and bounds by the Spirit of God, by the Spirit of Grace. In the name that is above all names i decree and declare the grace that is behind this prophetic word 
exceeding great rewards may that grace from today begin to follow you may that grace from today begin to follow you let it follow you in ministry let it follow you in business please hear me in the name of Jesus shame and reproach over your life we preached on Ichabod last year whatever has made men to call you Ichabod I declare like Rahab the prostitute may God rewrite your story like Ruth in the Bible may God rewrite your story in the name of Jesus Christ number two your hand the value of what is on your head is only revealed by what your hand does with it your hand is a symbol of your productivity Pastor Nat, when the Philistines held Samson, they bound his hand. Listen to me. The hand is what executes what the mind has incubated. When God wants to prosper men, this is the secret God showed me. Some of us did not come from any background with anything unusual. If God did not show this light, would only God knows what would have become of us. This is not about prosperity, money for no believers have been empowered for the end time service of the kingdom. I vow to God that I will never manipulate anybody for as long as I live and serve God because I'm looking for something to eat. But that statement is an expensive statement, it rides upon the wings of the availability of resources. There are sincere people who have compromised today not because they are evil. When people are hungry, anything becomes an option worth considering. Some of you right now, you came to this Oasis conference, you are already at the verge of compromise. Someone is already telling you, you know what to do. And by one week, you will get a job. It's easy for church people to point hands at people and say you are this and that. We, when you tell people, listen, the, the idea of consecration is abstinence from and then devotion unto. It does not just stop at abstinence from. When you tell people abstain from, you must show them the way to be devoted to. Your head. Don't forget. Number two. Your hand. Is it not true that God can hold the hands of men? So when his hand holds your hand, you will be surprised what the gift of God upon your life can do. Men of you with all due respect are not to insult you. You are wasting grace and wasting value. Creative ideas by the Spirit. And put with half the things God has placed in your hand. Because it is not anointed. And then number three. You can have correct thinking. A transformed superior understanding. Of together but if light does not shine on your path for you to prosper the spirit of dimensions of wisdom this is not my teaching but the, there are two dimensions feet that are responsible for prosperity divine direction and divine strategy they are all subsets of wisdom there are five levels of wisdom and there are two of them important for your prosperity divine direction he said the lord is my shepherd i shall not want because of how he leads you so you need guidance and direction guidance tells you your destination i mean direction tells you your destination guidance shows you the steps if I'm guiding you I will say follow that door and then go out that is the exit that's direction but guidance will tell you how to come down from this elevated position so to have direction is not enough direction means your destination your correct destination is in view but you need to be guided and it is light this was the secret of Job I'm saying this so that you do not I want you to receive from this conference that afterward some of you are going to thank this man of God that stands before you you say Pastor Nath you just saved me 10 years of mistakes 20 years of confusion 
some of you right now you got a lecture in one minute to reorder your understanding on finances don't think preachers are dummies not everybody is a fool suffering can teach you wisdom you can access wisdom and learn how this thing works i'm saying this because this is what someone is about to receive i truly believe with all my heart that god is a good father and among the many ways he wants to visit us by his hand is in this area of economic empowerment school fees of children right now multiplied rent multiplied everything multiplied if this grace is not released upon the body of christ soon we are going to lose our sons and daughters egypt will take all of them and they will cause god to his face because of economic factors but we forbid that i pray for you every long-standing testimony that you have trusted god for let this be the year of speedy performance the year of speedy performance in the name of jesus some of you are too slow in life and destiny it is the reason why opportunities pass you the keenness of spirit to maximize moments you don't have it i pray for you it's called the grace for speed let it rest upon someone right now that you will never lose opportunities you will never abort opportunities in the name of jesus christ receive the grace for speed right now receive the grace for speed right now hallelujah i was having a discussion earlier today and my attention was drawn to a gentleman in this nation who had accomplished so much i mean this gentleman's awards were displayed like this and yet nobody knows him and i said how can somebody have this many awards and not know and then i remembered there is a grace for visibility if that grace is not on you you can be as skillful all you can you can be as knowledgeable all you can nobody will know you are there there are preachers there are ministries that desperately need this grace there are businesses today that based on your level of competence you should be working directly with the federal government because you carry all it takes to be competent but the grace for visibility is not there who is ready to receive tonight in the name of jesus the grace that makes men know you are there and call for you to come from the back to the front is called the grace for visibility to every believer whose heart is open to receive receive that grace now in the name of jesus receive that grace now in the name of jesus receive that grace now in the name of jesus the grace for visibility gives you elevated platforms you always find yourself in elevated platforms that can give you room to serve jesus or to serve your value in a way that makes you honored i'm praying for you again every shame and reproach everything that has not displayed your full potential for the nations to see and know to place a demand upon you i decree and declare let this grace bail you out now hallelujah my god there are mighty miracles happening here now i decree and declare everyone having any pain any area of your body that pain leaves you now you are here and you could not walk feeling pains around your limbs i decree and declare may the hand of god rest upon you now migraine headaches be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now any growth around your body lumps around your breast or abdominal region we command those lumps to give way now the lord is showing me someone who has very severe the upper part of your back in the name of jesus christ you have a serious problem bending this is not the lower part the upper part the power of god is touching you right now shout a believing amen 
hallelujah there's someone you don't have any obvious sickness but you've been trusting god and i'm seeing that you've been praying you have hepatitis and you have been trusting god to take that thing away in the name of jesus i decree and declare that spirit leaves your body now high blood pressure high blood pressure high aparakatos leketosiata high blood pressure is living now now there's someone you've been feeling severe pain around your neck area and this thing is you are touching is feeling like there's some mass growing this thing is looking like symptoms of goeta but in the name of jesus i'm praying for you now right now as i'm speaking that pain leaves check yourself that pain leaves now that pain leaves now the lord is showing me a woman you take in but it never crosses three or four months something must happen and you lose the baby this thing has repeated itself again and again it's a demonic thing i'm praying for you my god i, I just saw light as i mentioned this case in the name of jesus whoever that person is we announce to you by the hand of god this is your season to carry your baby this is your season to carry your baby this is your season to carry your baby in the name of jesus i feel stirred in my spirit to pray for children there is such a demonic onslaught over the health and the minds of children i'm aware that there are people connecting from across the globe as a body of christ i want us to use one minute and pray right now for this demon spirit called mental health huh? we are going to call it by name and cause it to its root go ahead in one minute here at oasis every one child loneliness is one of the evidences of lack of favor no man that's what the man said bethesda his problem was not a healing problem the water was there the power was there but he said i have no man i have no man that was his problem why are you still in this situation for 38 years when an angel comes to stir the water every year others came there and they came two days before the angel arrived and they got healed and walked away but one man remained there for 38 years and here was what he said verse 7 i have no man when the water is troubled to put me there i went to school but i have no man who will speak to me i can walk i can do the business but i have no man i'm a great anointed man of god but i have no man to help connect me to the next level let me pray for you don't be tired of receiving no i want to pray for you one of the things that sacrifice does is that it gravitates helpers towards you most of us right now are like the man in i think that should be john 5 or so verse 7 thereabout jesus came to him and said why are you in this condition and he said i have no man this is the challenge with many businesses i have no man i have no man as a preacher i have no man as a business i have no man as an individual i want to pray for you strategic quality men strategic quality partners strategic quality helpers receive in the name of jesus christ lord you come through for me in this area that area go ahead declare you have given lord come through for me in the name of jesus you are not a man that you should lie nor the son of man that you should repent in the name of jesus the son of the living god i decree and declare by your power decree and declare by your spirit I will become a living manifestation of this desire fulfilled. Are you praying? Speak to the Lord in one minute.
We're still praying one minute. Favor is what gives you space and territory. They got not the land in possession by their own sword. By your favor. Favor is what stops emptiness from your hand. Exodus 3.21 And I will give you favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Favor. It compels people to want to give you. Some of you, this is what you need to remedy for the financial calamity that right now is upon you. You can learn the ways of finances properly when the pain and the trouble is gone. But as per the trouble you are in now, it is only the favor of God that will bail you out. Come on, turn this revelation to prayer in one minute. Oh, you will reward, you will reward. You are a God who does not fail. You will reward to the third and fourth generation. You will reward. Reward with power. Reward with good things. Reward with your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, for your shame you will receive double. Again, I'm speaking to believers. For everyone who has a face to believe, this week I prophesy to you by the God who gave gifts to men, may my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. Things you did not expect, may they begin to happen for you. Hear me? And everyone who has laughed at you and mocked at your God, may this be the week God puts them to shame. Hallelujah. You believe what you just heard? I sense in my spirit that whilst we are here, there are things that God is sorting out. Honestly, sorting out in the lives of people. Things, some, some of you have even given up on it. You have said, forget about this. And God is speaking to someone. You have closed Lazarus in the tomb, but roll away the stone. I know it is three days, but roll away the stone because he wants to bring Lazarus out. Everything that is dead, everything that is dying in your life, your health, your finances, your relationships, let it hear the word of the Lord. By the power that raised Christ from the dead this night, this moment, it jacks back to life now. The final impartation for tonight. The final impartation for tonight. You're going to receive the grace called speed. Why do you need speed in your life? Because destiny is a function of time. And many of us, by default, we are already late in life. Did you hear what I said? by default not because you are wrong some of us got to know the lord late some of us got to go to school late some of us right now is 10 years since after graduation 20 years since after graduation you've not gotten the first job when will you be able to build a house when will you be able to take care of the necessities of your life with integrity and without compromise hallelujah speed is one of the spiritual systems for time redemption. The Bible says, walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise. There are many books today that should be written, but are not able to be written, and those mandated to bless them cannot be blessed. This conference, you see, is not just riding on the wings of the Holy Ghost alone. Money was spent. It takes, it takes, wealth can protect integrity. Did you hear what I said? Wealth can build a fence around your integrity yes it can yes it can yes it can so i'm going to pray for you we have been anointed to bless 
and we communicate the whole counsel of God, including his desire to bless you. Listen, the anointing for prosperity comes on three areas of your life. My apologies that I'm stretching you. Number one, on your head, bringing wisdom. Number two, on your hand, bringing productivity. Or number three, on your feet, bringing direction. If you don't receive this threefold impartation, you will never prosper. Let me repeat it again. Number one, on your head. Job said, when his candle shined upon my head. If your head is dark, your pocket will be empty, for sure. Are we together? So it's not just about shouting amen. You must know where the anointing is resting. The anointing rests upon your head, supernatural creativity after the order of Bezalel. He said there is a spirit in man and the breath, the inspiration of the Almighty can make men. That means some of you at the end of this impartation, go and register the company. Proof that you have received the impartation truly. Are we together? Yes. At the end of it, you cook rice, delicious rice. Everybody is eating it for free. By the time the hand of God rests on your head, that can be something that God will use. There are people who have gone around the world because of supposedly nothing. There are some of you, your hands. A gentleman yesterday, Pastor Nat brought a gentleman who drew me in within 20 or 30 minutes. I didn't even know. I was minding my business and sipping juice and I would turn and see my face, my current face. Have you seen gifted people begging? Gifted people. They talk to you in five minutes and you say, why don't you own a television station? With this level of intelligence, their communication prowess is at another level. And yet they are using that communication to say, can you help me? And they say it so nicely, you feel guilty. You can't say no. On your head. Redeeming the time. There are two principal ways in the kingdom by which we gain dominion and exact dominion over time. Number one is called restoration. Number two is called speed. Let me focus on speed tonight. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for someone who has been laid back in life. I pray for someone who has been delayed. I pray for a family that has not, you are not at the place you should have been now. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace for speed. Receive that grace for speed. My God, receive that grace for speed. Let it rest upon you now. In one month, you will achieve things that have not been done in years. I say it in one month. You will achieve things that have not been done in years. In one month, you will achieve things that have not been done in years. In the name of Jesus Christ. Koinonia, hear me. Connecting you to strategic relationships, life will be hard unbearably hard I don't know who has struggled in this place and you are tired of struggling maybe you inherited this thing from the families you came from in the name that is above all names I pray for you may a help arise this moment may help us rise 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 this moment Now listen to me please essentially there are two principal ways God channels his blessings to the saints listen please we have a series on that coming but I want you to listen number one the works of your hands the first way that God channels resources to come to you is through the works of your hands whatever it is you are doing preaching singing business your job number two relationships these are the two principal channels by which god communicates his resources to the saints let me repeat the works of your hands number two relationships when god wants to accelerate your becoming he sends both he empowers the works of your hands and then connects you with strategic relationships there are many people who have great ideas 
that they should not even be crying for rent but the relationships that will help them remember John chapter 5 I have no man when the waters is there to put me there hallelujah the Lord is showing me chains and the Lord is saying release these families I don't know what families have been held down I come by an apostolic and prophetic anointing at this oasis conference chains break chains break chains break the Lord I hear in my spirit release their glory everything that has covered your glory my Bible says but thou O Lord as a shield for me Ay, 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 ay. It says, My glory, my glory, my glory, my glory, my glory, the lifter up of my head. Everything that has covered your glory, we tear that veil now. We tear that veil now. Hello. We tear that veil now. We tear that veil now. Listen, there are many of you with the level of gift and value that you carry, you should never be begging for bread. But when a man's glory is covered, whether by witchcraft, you are gifted but you remain small. I say it again, we come in the volume of the book. Anyone's glory that has been covered, we tear that veil now. We tear that veil a paraka tosiata. We tear that veil now. We tear that veil now. Listen. Everyone say after me. Say father. Father. Say it again. Say father. Father. For my shame. Give me double. For my shame. Give me double. Open your mouth and pray in one minute. For my shame. For my shame. For my shame. Don't be distracted. Another sound is coming. Don't be distracted. For my shame. For my shame. Let it be clear that your hand is upon me. Let it be clear that your hand is upon me for my shame. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Who is Elizabeth? I'm hearing a name, Elizabeth. We may not have the time. Elizabeth. This, I'm seeing a woman, at least this woman should not be less than maybe 50 years old. This is what I'm seeing. I will pray for you, but I'm not seeing a young lady at all. In the, oh, Mama is. Who is that? Mama is. A, no, let us stay where she is for the sake. Mama, I want to pray for you. Please lay your hand on your chest. Say after me, I will not die, but leave and declare the works of the Lord. I curse every manifestation of the spirit of death. You will not wake up having your, your, your right leg unable to move because of arthritis. I command that spirit to give way now in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm hearing a name, Jessica, in the name of Jesus. I don't know where that person is, but I prophesy to you, Jessica, who is Jessica? I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, may the Lord restore your family. May the Lord restore your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
I'm, Wumi, I'm hearing the name Wumi. This will be a Yoruba name. Wumi, W U M I. Wumi, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for you. The Lord is saying He's opening the gates of your career. Opening the gates of your career. Hear me, what God says to one, He says to all. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone here, you are a barista. I'm seeing that doors have been closed for you. But in the name of Jesus, before the end of this year, I'm saying it to you prophetically. My God will open doors in a way that will surprise you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now for all of you who are in front here, I didn't bring you out to waste your time. I decree and declare by the spirit of the living God, everything God is correcting by his hand, everything God is arranging, may it be completed now. And every spirit that will not let you go, let it go now, let it go now, let it go now, let it go now. This is Zion, the house of God. Let it go now. You are released forever. Your family is released forever. You will never forget this conference in a hurry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. For those who are fine, you can return to your seat rejoicing. I want to do something prophetically. We are still going to sing this song, Yahweh. Now for all those who are sick, just listen to me. Prophetic instruction are very funny but they carry power while the worship is going on all i want you to do is lay your hands where that sickness is are we together just lay your hands and when it is time to shout when pastor Nat prompts you just do what i'm asking you to do just shout by faith and you will find out a marvelous miracle this is what god is telling me you see the foolishness of the way of the spirit is that the, natu the, the way of the spirit is not understood by natural men. No matter what the sickness is, as they raise this song, the moment he's ready to blow the trumpet and he asks you to shout, just lay your hands. If it's your head, lay your hands there. If it's your back, if it's an internal problem, lay your hands there. And you can also stand in for a loved one. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. We'll do this for the next two minutes. And you watch the mighty miracles that God will bring in your body. Let's pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand in faith with Pastor Nath. Out of the abundance of your help and your mercy, for the sake of your name, for the sake of your kingdom, I pray over your precious people. You have helped men in different degrees. But Lord, there are many who need your help in the area of economy. They have stood the test of time through that the, the financial troubles. Many of them have remained people of integrity. We cry, oh God. The hand that lifted Job. The hand that lifted Abraham. The hand that lifted Solomon. Lifted David. In the name of Jesus. That marvelous hand that helped Uzziah until he prospered and became strong. May that hand rest on your head. May that hand rest on your head. From today, extraordinary intelligence. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, I pray for your hands. I don't know what has frustrated the works of your hands. But in the name of Jesus Christ let an anointing rest on your hands go and prosper with your hands go and prosper with your hands go and prosper with your hands number three by this prayer for someone confusion is ending in your life prophetically i pray over your feet whatever has been leading you to wrong places wrong people wrong businesses wrong ventures and you keep recycling pain losses and trouble may you be redirected by his light may your feet receive guidance may your feet receive direction in the name of jesus christ 